G'day guys, got a relatively easy projectile motion question for you today. Um, the question says we've got a rescue plane that wants to drop supplies to an isolated marooned explorers on a deserted island 235 metres below. Okay, so our H is equal to 235 metres. Cool. If the plane is travelling horizontally at a speed of 250 kilometres an hour, which is 69.4 metres per second, okay, so we know that we know that V naught is equal to 69.4. Cool. How far in advance of the recipient's horizontal distance must the goods be dropped? So we're looking for D. Cool. So let's try and figure out what the hell is going to happen here. So what we're going to do is this plane's flying along really fast in this direction, as the arrow suggests. And what happens is when we throw the box out of the plane, it keeps its horizontal speed because what we're going to do is we're going to ignore drag so what happens is as because we don't have any wind resistance we're not going to lose any of the plane's horizontal speed but what is going to happen is as the thing falls as the box falls it will accelerate because of its mass um, towards the ground obviously and it will take a sort of a parabolic motion. You'll start to see it do, hopefully, do this. So what happens is, as the thing falls, the vertical component of its velocity um, becomes a greater proportion than its horizontal component, and it starts to fall downwards at a faster and faster rate. So, how are we going to do this particular question? Well, to find D... What I, I do know that the plane is flying, and as a result, the box will be flying in a direction, in this direction, at a particular speed. Now, what I need to do is I need to calculate to start with how quickly or how long it's going to take the box to fall through the height that we've been given. So let's, we're going to go about solving that first. So we're going to use one of our equations of motion. So the first equation we're going to use is S is equal to ut plus half at squared. Now what's good about this equation is it relates distance and acceleration and time. Now what's good about this question equation also is that the initial velocity u is zero so it basically cancels out half of it so it makes it a lot easier to compute. So let's put in what we know. We know that s is going to be 235 metres, it's got to fall through, is equal to 0 times time, so that's going to be 0, plus 1 half, 9.8, 1 times the time squared. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to rearrange this equation by moving the half across, dividing by 9.81 and square rooting. So we're going to end up with T is equal to the square root of 235 divided by 1 half of 9.8. One. Cool. And the time is going to be six point nine two one seconds. So that's how long the box is going to be in the air for. So, but what we then can do is if we know that it's going to be in the air for that long, we have to figure out how much horizontal distance it's going to cover in this time. Well, we know that the horizontal velocity is 69.4 metres a second. We know it's going to be doing that for 6.921 seconds. So we're going to use, we'll just use the standard distance is equal to 
velocity times time, or displacement is equal to velocity times time, which is equal to 69.4 multiplied by 6.921 seconds. So what we can do is once we can just chuck that straight to the calculator and we get 480 point three two meters. So what we know is that in this 6.921 seconds, we're going to travel 480 meters. So it figures, hopefully, in your heads that if it's going to go this far horizontally in that in the time that it takes to fall, surely we should then drop, throw the box out of the airplane or drop it out of the airplane 480 point three two meters before the island. So the box, when it lands, it lands on the island. So that's basically, that answers this question. That is our final solution is 480.32 meters. So what we did to start with is we calculated how long the box would take to fall from the plane to the ground all the while ignoring any sort of wind resistance, so there's not going to be any kind of um, terminal velocity or anything like that. What we then did is after we calculated the time, because we un hopefully you guys understand that without drag, our horizontal velocity is constant. So if we know how long it's falling for and we know the speed of the aeroplane, we'll be able to know the distance in the horizontal direction that the plane will be able to or the plane and the box will be able to cover in the 6.921 seconds. So if we just, then we can just use the basic formula S equals VT to calculate how far it's going to go in that time, and as a result, how far before the island the plane has to drop the box. So it's not a tricky problem, to be honest. I said it was easy to start with. Hopefully that is easy for you. Um, but again, I hope the video helped. Do us a favour, like my like the channel or like the, like the video sorry subscribe to my channel what are you thinking Harold and um, hopefully if you have any questions on physics chemistry maths basically whatever I'll give it a go at answering it um, I'm always looking for a new challenge so um, yeah hopefully I get some questions from you and I'll see you again next time